Are you already going to the gym? Yes? Great, let's build a workout tracker. You don't have an Apple Watch, no worries, you only need your phone. In the past couple of years I tried a lot of different approaches and I will share in this video what worked for me the best and then you can apply some learnings to your own workout journey. We will use Notion API and Apple Shortcut to build some cool workout tracker. Let's get started. First thing first, what exactly is the shortcut doing? Let's take a look. If you open the workout tracker shortcut, you can see it on my iPhone screen. And if we select it, then you can choose, for example, let's go with run. And then it would directly automatically put in our Notion database. Let's do another example, pull day. And voila, you can preset your workouts and then you just need one button to track them. You want to see something cool? No? I will show it anyway. All right, we have here my tracker, what I used as well for the last year. And you can see this system works for me. You can see down there how many workouts I did in first quarter, quarter two, quarter three, and the last quarter four. You can see my goal here and I almost achieve it. It's take until March. I will finish my one year goal to exercise every day. This system works for me. I hope you can learn something from here and apply to your habit. How to set it up? I will do it like step by step and I will explain how you can achieve the same. Important if you're already Notion API and Shortcut Pro, you just can skip everything and in the link in the description, you can just duplicate it and set it up. Let's take a look how it looks like behind the scene. We have a simple Notion page with calendar view and table view. You just can duplicate it or create a new one. Let's do that. Blank page. Let's call it fitness tracker. Okay, and then you just more and let's go with table view and new database. And then we delete all the stuff we don't need it. And then we will add date. That's it. We are almost finished for Notion perspective. You can add some views i like the calendar view done this is our first step next step you just need to connect your notion api you click on this add connection and then you will use search for your for mine examples youtube demo once again i have detailed step by step how actually to set a notion api you can check it up you go to this website and you will set it up and then you're ready to go but once again, I will link everything. You can check it out. All right, now let's take a look in our shortcut edit. Okay, so basically it's look like this. If you copy them, you have, I hope everything set up. You just need to replace this one and your API key, and then you're ready to go. If you have any issues with the shortcut, let me in comments down below. I can help you to fix it. For example, here, if you select text, you see normally it will select it, but it's jump out. No worries, it's still working. I don't know why Apple shortcuts have some issues to display it, but it should work. If you still have some issues, let me know in comments below. I give my best to help you. Let's do it together. Let's duplicate this one, but fitness tracker. You can choose your own name and then we will replace this. I'll show you where I get go here and you can click on share or just copy the link from this database. Put it here for placeholder and then you will remove everything here and here. This is your database ID. So we will replace this one with here. Okay, next step is to get your API key and paste it here. No worry, shortcut app display is wrong, but you have it here. Most important that you have between this keyword and your secret API key uh, space. Okay, but if you go over there, um, I hope you set it up and then you go here and then if you click on show and then you copy and paste and just put it here. Just copy here and important is selected text. Let's check it out, it's working. Pool day. Beautiful, you're ready to go. You built your first workout tracker. Let's check this JSON data, what does exactly do? Basically, you have a current date that you automatically generated and the name of the 
input and dictionary. Pro tip, you can add some fancy emojis. It looks like this. Let's try it one more time. And then you can see it more visually. So done, it should, yes. And then you have beautiful emojis. You have this beautiful in calendar view. I see we train a lot today. It's time to take a break. The goal of this tracker is to build a habit to going to the gym and to work out. You start small and then you level up. It's not like the normal tracker where you track your what exercise you exactly do. It's only that you try to build up the habit throwing up for example you can just start with only run only swim small steps and then you leveled up for example i started only with running and then i leveled up to lift and muay thai and swimming all right some tips and tricks don't track your exact workouts in notion i mean not exact exercises for example bench press and squat don't track it it's like too much friction in, to make it in notion for for this purpose if you wanted to track it's more in detail i recommend the strong app and heavy it's very good to start with this apps to track your workouts more detail but once again i would recommend to start building a habit for showing up first and then level up to the to another app to track your workout more in detail because if you start to decide which split i will do two split three split leg day push day you have to prepare so much and you will waste so much energy and then you maybe not exercise so start building habit first to showing up and then you level up the goal is to get started and then if you master for example for 30 days or maybe 40 days or two months it's really up to you what time period you prefer and then you get level up for next level of for exercise so then you can go more into detail and figure out what exercise or what activities you really like to do all right thank you so much for watching if you want to see more videos you can click here and if it was helpful make sure to like and subscribe and let me know how you track your workouts all right see you in the next one